One of my biggest beefs for the WordPress media library is that you can't replace images. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replace an image in the WordPress media library. I didn't know this was possible until a week ago. So that's pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you how it works and how easy it is starting right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress tips, tricks, and hacks and getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell icon so you don't miss anything, and check out our private Facebook group. There's a link in the description down below. That's where we chat WordPress, help each other with WordPress, and just all around get better at it. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture. First thing we have to do is install a plugin. So we're gonna to go to plugins and then add new. I'm going to search for image replace and the plugin I found is this one right here with enable media replace. It's created by the short pixel team. They have a great image compressor plugin as well. It's got a lot of great reviews, 300,000 plus installs up to two months ago, untested with the current version, but I'm running a release candidate. So it's a version that's not actually out yet, but it's likely compatible with this current version of WordPress. But either way, before you install a plugin, always make sure you back up your database and your site files. I have linked to an Updraft Plus tutorial up above to help you do that if you need some help with that. When you're ready, click on Install Now and then Activate. We have a notice up here saying you should get the Short Pixel Image Optimizer plugin. If you don't have an image optimization plugin yet, Short Pixel has a great one. So if you want to check that out, go for it. If you already have one that you're happy with, then forget it. What we're going to do for this tutorial is go over to Media and click on Library. And you can click on any of these images. It doesn't have to be images, actually. It can be uh, videos. It can be anything. And we have this option now called Replace Media. You can upload a new file. And the reason this is so powerful, it might sound like a big deal because you think, why don't I just upload a different image and that'll be fine. But where it becomes really powerful is when you have a single image that is found on many pages on your site that if you were to change it, you'd have to change it in five or 10 or 20 or a thousand locations. Kind of like a logo in the header. If you had to manually replace the logo, on every page, that would take forever. But luckily things like theme options for certain themes, they allow you to upload a logo, which goes in the header everywhere on your site. And then you can just replace that in one spot and have it replaced everywhere. Page builders like Elementor, they allow you to find the header section as a template. You can upload the logo in that one spot and it will be replaced everywhere. Where this doesn't work is in the regular media library. I'll give you a quick example. Go Time Learning is another site I've been working on and we do these online summits and these summits have people who are being interviewed. For example, Michael Houlihan, the founder of Barefoot Wines and his wife, Bonnie Harvey, they were interviewed for the summit and that's great. And they have their pictures here and that's awesome. We click on their profile link and that has Michael's picture here. And then on his actual interview page, it has his picture there and wherever his bio appears, his picture's there. So it's in many, many different locations. Now, if I had to manually go in and upload the picture to each spot every time, I'd have to A, somehow be able to keep track where all those pictures are, and then B, go and do it. So what I actually have is a separate plugin running that allows you to upload right into that plugin. That plugin has a short code that I include on all of Michael's pages. The other option would have been to create a new folder called an image folder on the server where you can upload an image of Michael or whoever else or whatever else, and then you can replace the image in that folder every time. But that image folder runs outside of the WordPress core file structure. So I don't really like doing that. And the other plugin is a premium plugin, which I had to pay for. And I don't really like doing that, but I did it anyway, because I needed that functionality. That was before I knew that you could do it with this simple short pixel plugin. Now you can replace images in the media library. Their URL will stay the same, which means wherever you included that image, it will stay there and just update every instance of it. So it's super, super handy. You may not have run across a situation where you need it yet, but if you know about it, then at least you know what you can do if you come across that situation. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and the bell notification icon. Make sure you check out our Facebook group in the comment section or description down below, and then click one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.